Hello, the kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of The Shadows of Mordor. All right, and we left off. I had just shut off the game, turned it back on, and there's a couple things that are new. One of them, uh, Fulcum the Drunk ended up having a trial by ordeal right next to where we are. And uh, when I was going to check the weaknesses to make sure that he wasn't going to die immediately, uh, apparently we have a few new war chiefs, including our favorite boy, Uthug. Hey, he's all grown up now. I'm so proud and so emotional. <laughs> okay, anyway, he ended up being a veteran war chief because of all the bullshit that we ended up giving him. And because he survived all of that, I guess they made him war chief because of that, I guess. I don't honestly know. Uh, we have a mission to possibly kill him at some point, but I don't want to do that right away. No, no, I'm going to do what I do best, which is torture him a little bit. Just a little bit. Get rid of all his bodyguards first, and then... When we finally have broken him down, then we'll go in for the kill. But it won't be right away. I'll tell you that much. Anyway, some of our other little joiners of the War Chief crew is a little guy named Ukbuk here. Um, I don't know how he managed to make War Chief, considering I think I've killed him at least once. And uh, if he managed to survive, that explains why. And... Uh, seems that uh, Uthug's bodyguard is this little guy, Snagog. So, we can easily get rid of him. God damn, look at all those fucking flies around him. That's how filthy it is. Yeah. Yeesh. And he also has the same fear of burning. <laughs> how about that? Uh, but, uh, I will definitely be getting rid of this guy soon enough. Now, we also have, uh, Amug the Rugged also up there, and for some reason he still has a fear of a rival, Malmog the Brown, who is actually the bodyguard of this guy, <laughs> which I find hilarious. Horza Blade Sharpener. I don't know how he ended up being Warchief either, but uh, he has a fear of a rival who's an unknown captain, which I find hilarious, because that means it's one of the five newbies that have popped up, or six, rather, six, and we don't know who it is. But, that is definitely a thing we can take advantage of. But, for the time being, we're going to fuck around with Fulgum, because we still can. Oh boy. I should probably get rid of these guys while I have a chance. There we go. Nope, he backed up enough, so I can go for his head. Go for this guy's head. And we're good. Oh wait. I can recharge my arrows with this guy. Okay. Come on, brain. There we go. And now interrogate. Uh, let's put a death threat on someone, eh? Because we already have one on Uthug. We already have one on Fulgum. Let's put one on one of the weaker guys who managed to become war chief. Like Horza. I think we're going to do that with him if we can. We can't. Okay, well... That sucks. Fuck. <laughs> well, I thought that would work. Okay, we'll just do it against Malmug, huh? Managed to take out his little... Only captains can send death threats against war chiefs. Oh. Oh. That's one I'll have to keep in the old brain noggin here. Oh! These two are doing a duel against each other. I didn't know that. That's news to me. <laughs> okay, and this guy's doing something... Uh, huh. Something with him. But he's connected to Amug. I have no idea. Okay, well, fuck it. I'm just gonna put a threat against this guy. There we go. Scoth Flame Mongra. Protected by gang. Oh, well, you know, it's whatever. I should be able to take him on, no problem. Let me look at his weaknesses again, <laughs> just to make sure. Uh... Damaged by ranged attacks and combat finishers. Yeah, I should be able to take him. I should be able to take him. No problem. No problem at all. All right. There we go. Get away. All right. Now let's go whoop, over here. And let's do this real quick. There we go. All right. We got to make sure he runs. But I think he's invulnerable to ranged. You in a cage, stupid beastie. Using their... 
that, that statement would have made sense if, you, you know, you put him in there. But you didn't. Oh. I forgot he had Monster Slayer. <laughs> so he killed him almost instantly. Oops. Alright, well, I mean... Well, oh, I mean... That way I can actually do this real quick. Hey, buddy! How's it going? Words is just words. Deeds is what matter. Well, I mean, you're slurring half your words, so, I mean, it's hard to tell if that's actually serious or not. Okay. There we go. Knock you a little bit. There we go. Get a little more. Perfect. Alright. Oh, now you're clumsy. Already. Jeez. Who'd have thunk that? Alright, kill you. There we go. And put a little more damage on you. Oh. Ooh, that looked like it hurt. I'm going now. Next time I'll kill you all the way. Will you now? Because right now you're not looking very good at that. Oh, hey. Hey, buddy. Now you're going to get a little knocked out of you yourself. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that was brutal. Oh, I've never seen that. That was the most brutal thing I've ever seen. Oh, my God. Oh. Holy shit. <laughs> that was the best. Okay. <laughs> I gotta call myself. There's a couple bits of intel further up this way. I should probably grab them before I start making any moves against the war chiefs. Uh, there's one over here. Um, it's, it's an Uruk. That's an Uruk. A slave driver, from the look of it. Alright, um. I don't want to run square into them, but at the same time. They're kind of moving slowly. Someone said that every time there's a geyser, another thousand ghouls come up out of the ground. I heard they spawn from the mud whenever it rains. Either way, they're easy enough to kill, so it don't really matter. Well, to be fair, uh, the latter's actually been, you know, what we've been seeing more often than not, so I'll believe the latter more than anything. <laughs> hey, buddy! I'm gonna interrogate you. A little info. How about you tell me about one of the new players, huh? How about this guy? Bagaboog. <laughs> Bagaboog. <laughs> the fuck is that name? The fuck? Bagaboog. <laughs> That's a hell of a name. Missing the action of Thorban. What the fuck does that mean? I don't know. But, uh, vulnerable to combat finishers and stealth finishers. He's invulnerable to ranged, so I can't really go at him from, uh, a bow standpoint, but I can take him out up close, which is good. He also has a fear of Karagors that I can exploit. Uh huh. And he has a lot of strengths, too. What was his power again? Power level 9. Oh, and he's all the way over there at the Barrows of Udu. Okay. Fair enough. You're gone. Thank you for that info, but you're dead now. Goodbye. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. Alright, um... There's a couple more intels over this way, and I kind of want to grab them, simply because they're there. Uh, can I sneak up on one and then sneak up on the other? That's the question. Uh, maybe. Okay, come on. There we go. I, I might not be able to get the other one if this is too loud. Uh, might not. Keep right. Let's go after this guy. Pugrish Skullbow. Well, I, he's staying true to his name. I'm seeing a skull on his bow right there. Is it on the other side? I can't really tell. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is. It's on the other side, too. That is very extra of you, Pugrish. Okay, uh, what was this thing? Suspicious of tales about a nearby grog. He's suspicious about it, which means he doesn't necessarily believe it's true, but he's not going to call them liars, I guess. And he's vulnerable to mounted beasts and has a fear of caragors, so... That is just wonderful for me, isn't it? <laughs> All right. That's, uh... There we go. Oh, jeez. Will you now? Because right now, I'm going to be getting some info out of you. Come on. Give me what I want. There we go. What do we got after this guy? Ulrock the Flogger. That's a name. Realizing he must instill more fear in other Uruks to gain a higher standing. Well, good luck with that, buddy. Alright, what do you got? Fear of burning and damage by combat finishers. You're actually pretty strong. Holy shit. I don't have that many weaknesses to exploit. Really? Only damage by combat finishers and a fear of burning. But, if I recall correctly, and I 
pretty sure I do. I decided to get an upgrade a while back, which instilled the flame arrow, fire arrow. Uh, six of one, half dozen of the other. Potato, potato, tomato, tomato, shallot, shallots, all the same shit. Anyway, when the hit streak is charged, you can unleash a fire arrow, which will cause huge explosions if used on barrels or campfires. So every time I hit the hit streak where I can immediately use an instant kill move, there we go with fire right there. I did a little snap to, you know, emulate Roy Mustang because I'm an anime weeaboo noid. Anyway, <laughs> let's just move on from here. Move on from my stupid ass and stupid. Oh, we got a couple of these guys who are a little too close. Oh, we got some Karagors running around over there, too. Not necessarily sure if that's a good thing or not. We'll find out that in a moment, won't we? Uh, got a couple of new things. Pigu, Karagor's Tamer's Ambush. Okay. Uh, Scoth, Flamemonger. Oh, he has a trial by ordeal. Okay. Uh, Pigu, Karagor, Tamer. What was that about Pigu and... Yeah, it was Pigu, Karagor, Tamer, and Snagog the Filthy. Uh, they were... Yeah, they were fighting each other. I kind of want to see how those play out. I kind of want to, actually. So I just need to go a little north and head to there. Okay. Uh, I need to figure out which way north is. There we are. And away we go. I'm going to head over there and see if I can't tilt some of the, you know, results in my favor, which is getting rid of uh, Uthug's little bodyguard there. Oh, shiza. That's not a good way. Let's go over this way. <laughs> Yeesh. That did not work out well. Gods, how are there so many of them around here? How did so many end up coming around here? Better question. How did they kill this one? It's shocking to me. Okay, we got a worm over there. That's fine. It's weird that it's not showing up, but that's fine. Either way... It might be a glitch. Because he's just standing there doing nothing. Huh. Yeah, let me try. Oh, quick one up. Okay. And there we go. Might have been a little loud, but that's fine. That's fine. At this point, we're just gathering info on the enemy. What do we got here? Lamlug the Weak. Didn't we kill a Lamlug way back when? I'm pretty sure we did. Acquiring some poison to ruin another Uruk's feast with. Well, I mean, that's a Uruk after my own heart there. He's vulnerable to stealth finishers, and holy shit. You might as well be... <laughs> the Weak is a very, uh, very apt name. It's better than Ratbag the Coward, but uh, he might as well have the Coward name too, because look at all of those fears. Fear of Grogs, Karagors, Morgai Flies, and Burning. Yes, the only strength he has is Quick Shot. That's about it. That's about it. Well, that's a... Uh, Uh-oh. Well, I've attracted some attention. Time to deal with these guys. Okay. Okay. You're gonna get dealt with a little bit. Okay. Whoop. Okay, there we go. Perfect. And there you go. Perfect. And I think he's gonna run away eventually. And perfect. I guess not. Oh, hey, buddy. Yeah, it's me. And now you're dead. How about that? Oh, shit. Well, fuck you, I guess. I'm gonna kill you eventually. One of these days. God damn it. Ow. Well, this ended up going a little further south than I anticipated. But that's fine. Okay. Ooh, you're gone. And you're gone. Ooh. Ooh. That looked good. Okay. Okay, come on. Kill you. That was good. I'm trying to go for the other berserker. There we go. Ooh, there we go. Now the rest of them are easy peasy. There we go. Perfect. And you're gone. Wow, there's so many of them coming up. Whoa. Ooh, that was perfect. Ow, that hurt a little bit. I hit the button, you little shit. There we go. Oh, come on. Come on, there we go. Perfect. Whoops, that's not what I intended, but that works. 
Go chit. Okay. There we go. Ow. Come on. Ow. Come on. Come on now. Perfect. Better than not. There we go. Oh. That was good. That had to hurt. And the rest of them are running off because they realize they can't win. Oh, uh, boy. I'm surprised I won, honestly. I got a lot more hits taken on to me than I expected. Why is that axe floating in midair? That's weird. Anyway, get some health in me. There we are. Perfect. Alright. I have to deal with that up there still, but I got distracted by, you know, everyone else. Whoops, uh, I went down the wrong way. Perfect. Back up again. On the way again. I want another two. It's getting to the point where nobody's gonna want to fight defenseless. me. Defenseless. Who's defenseless? Huh. Claim Malmuk the Brown by killing his def challenge Malmuk the Brown by killing his defenders. Wait, he's a war chief now? He went to a war chief. So his oh his rivals all rock the flogger. Wow. Okay. Well, that's a weird thing. Um. So his rival became a war chief. Okay. All right. I can deal with that. I can deal with that. Not a problem. All right. Well, first things first, we got to go to the, uh, uh-oh. Okay. Oh, can you just say there's a Karagor? Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, 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 that's, uh, not going to help me in the long run, is it? Okay. Get rain on him. There we go. And a couple shanks. There we go. Okay, come on. Come on, let me get down to kill him. God damn it. There we go. Eh, fuck it. This will work. There we go. Perfect. Eh, more or less. Close enough. And this guy. There we go. Alright, well, I'm going to run because that Karagor is eventually going to come real close to fighting them. So, at that point, I won't have to worry about shit. Okay. Where's the thing? There it is. There's the thing. Aha! There we go. Ambush! There we go. Alrighty. They're sneaking up on Snagog. Yeah, well, I mean... You have every reason to think that it's too quiet. Snagog is being ambushed by Piku. And just to remind myself who is what, Snagog is the bodyguard for Uthug, and Piku is the one I want to win, technically. Alrighty. Well, I'll let this play out as it goes. I want to double check real quick. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> just want it. Double check his weaknesses real quick. He's vulnerable to up close shit. Okay. So I don't want to get in there right away, especially with everything else being the way it is. Alright, well. Well, <laughs> they are getting beat the fuck up, it looks like. They pff, he's not gonna last this. Well, I mean, no skin off my ass. Eventually, he's going to have to die anyway. Well, there's a couple more of them running up. Is there any sort of thing I can explode near there? That's a good question. But I don't know. Doesn't look like it. I'm going to go up here real quick. Ah, that's not the button I meant to press. Uh, shit birds. I can't, can't tell any flame anything nearby. Huh. Well, that's unfortunate. I wanted to explode something there. That would have been fun. No, I don't get that. I don't get fun. I don't get to have fun, apparently. Oh, let's kill this guy. He's getting a little too close to killing him. Huh? And kill this guy. Well, there we go. Look alive, because you're about to die. Oh, so he noticed me. Okay. No, that was Pigug going after Snog. Uh, Snagog. Snog. 
That's a whole different fucking word. What am I saying? Alright, well, I'll let this all go the way it is. Oh, Snagog is getting too far away. Ow, that hurt. Oh, hey! That's a stalker. see you show your ugly face during a moment of chaos. Well, yeah. surprised to see you die, neither. Well, that's a little unfair to think. Ow, that hurt a lot. Okay, ambush resolved. Snagog fled. Shit. I was trying to have him killed. Pigug failed, though, so there was at least there's at least that. Very good. Okay. Kill you. There we go. Good shit. Okay. Come on. Come on, damn it. That didn't work out the way it was supposed to. Okay, come on. Oh, come on. Well, you say that. Oh, geez. Ow, jeez. That's not working out well in my favor at all. Okay. Whoop! I hit the wrong button. I hit the wrong button. Oh, this is the geez. turning point of our war. The day I'm promoted. Well, okay, Mog. That was real intense close-up of your face. You went to power two. Oh, so he has to duel this unknown captain. Oh, so unknown captain survived. Okay. Wow. Really? Okay, well, this is gonna all go to shit. Whoops. <laughs> all because I hit a wrong button. He died. How did he die? I didn't even get to see that. Well. Should have expected this. How did Lamluck get promoted? He has all the weaknesses ever. Okay. Mog. Oh, so now he's got, like, even more power. Okay. Okay. Well. <laughs> this, uh... This went badly. This went very badly. <sighs> I should have just ran from the battle. I should have known that it wouldn't go in my favor, but... Uh, that was bad. That was bad of me. That was bad of me. In particular, just me. Of silver. They are oh, for fuck's sake. Quit telling me this thing. I've heard it nine million times. You keep saying it only of the light of the two trees from the start after I load a new session, kingdom. and then you just never go past anything new. Uh, for fuck's sake. What do we got? We got Bagaboog. Uh, attempt to recruit followers. It's Bagaboog again. Where the hell was he? Bagaboog is a bodyguard for uh, Horza now. Makes sense. Um, combat finishers and stealth finishers. Okay. I need to figure out the weaknesses of this Mog who got me. Oh, I, I can't. Okay. I'll have to do that next episode. <sighs> well, things have changed a lot, and apparently a lot of my old tricks isn't going to work anymore. So now I need to reevaluate how I do things. Or not. <laughs> that too. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat playing games and getting my ass kicked by a bunch of Uruks because apparently there's a lot more of them than I thought there would be for you.